Hey everyone, this is Kyle Style. This is my LEGO Moon Knight Showcase for Episode 6. Warning, there will be spoilers for Moon Knight, the final episode. So please click away if you haven't seen it, and then come back here to watch this LEGO Showcase. In Episode 6, the final episode of Moon Knight, so much happened, and so I decided to build all my LEGO customs from Episode 1 to 6 to show them off. So let's get into First it. First of all, we have the main man himself, Moon Knight, with his ancestral battle armor. And I think he looks fantastic. I took the face from Mr. Freeze, as well as this helmet from Ninjago Zane. The torso, I took the arms and legs from White Vision from the Marvel CMF, as well as his white cape. For the torso of the body, I took this from Pharaoh's Quest from the Mummy. And for his Moon Crescent weapon, I just took two gold teeth and put them together. Or you can take this crescent blade from the Ninjago accessory pack, which I think is a perfect fit for Moon Knight's weapon. Now for the main villain himself, we have Arthur Harrow, who is also the avatar of Ahmet. And for him, I just took the torso and legs from Dumbledore from the CMF series, as well as the hair from Old Luke Skywalker, or you can use it from this guitar player. Then I just gave him a black cane. Next up, we have our main man, my boy, Steven. And he looks terrified as to what happened in episode five, as well as you can notice his pants are really sandy or dirty because he did not do well being turned into a stone statue. And I think this is great. And he's got the, the blue shirt, which we see in the episode. And I took the face from the overalls trucker driver from Rilla Grodd, it's gone bananas. And the legs are from the white man bat. And then we just got some black swooped hair, which you could get from Iron Man or other figures. Now to build Mark Spector from Moon Knight, I just took Poe Dameron's minifigure from Star Wars because he's played by the exact same actor, Oscar Isaac. And he's got this great rugged looking facial hair. And he's got this great desert outfit when they're in episode three, racing to get the scare before Arthur Harrow. Here's my Layla Lego custom. I took the face and hands from MJ from the Spider-Man movie, as well as the torso from Ron Weasley, as well as some black legs, the hair from Elaine from Seinfeld. And this is perfect for the episode two version of Layla. I was gonna use the newest Wonder Woman Lego outfit with her gold wings, but unfortunately I don't have that. And I thought that would be awesome for her avatar suit. But here we see her actually getting the statue of Khonshu when she breaks him out. Now for the biggest spoiler of the episode, episode six, we have Jake Lockley, which we see at the end credit scene. I was so excited to see him. And they've been teased in episode three and six when Mark and Steven both blacked out, killing people like, what have you done? And that was Jake Lockley, Moon Knight's third personality. And I love that he's got the gray pants, which we see from Ron Weasley in the CMF series, as well as the Harry Potter torso. And I took the face from Poe Dameron, which is also the actor Oscar Isaac, and I gave him a black taxi cab hat from the zombie taxi cab driver, as well as a black gun, which he also uses to finish off Arthur Harrow at the end credit scene of episode six. This next custom we have is Mr. Knight or Steven, and he was one of the standout favorite characters. He was hilarious and just such a noble, good guy. I gave him the Joker's white suit from the CMF series, as well as Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. She's also from the CMF series. I gave him some white hands, and this head is actually brand new from Ralph the Dog from the Muppet series. Onto my Khonshu Lego custom, I used the scepter from Loki, as well as this eagle white head from the Lego Chima series, as well as the mummy from the CMF series for the body, and there's a different mummy I took the, the arms from to complete the mummy look, as well as I took this white cape either from Shazam or from White Vision. Here's another version of Khonshu in his white suit, which we see in the end of episode six, when he has Jake Lockley execute Arthur Harrow and Ahmet to finish him off. And I think he just looks so sinister and like a boss in his kind of mafia white suit. And I think it's an awesome looking custom. This Lego custom I built a little bit late. It was from episode three. This is Anton Mogart, who steals a lot of different artifacts. And he helped Layla and Mark also find the golden scarab. And he's got this red robe, which we see from the Batman who loves lobster way too much, Lego Batman movie. And I took the face actually from Indiana Jones, as well as this black swept hair from Rex Danger Vest. And I think this works perfectly for his character. Unfortunately, this actor who played in the movie passes away, but this is gonna be the Midnight Man, who is also a villain of Moon Knight. And last but not least, we have the Avatar of Osiris, and he actually saves Stephen and Mark at the very end. We actually hear Tal Wright, the hippo goddess, say, Osiris, you softy, as he opened up the gates to let Stephen and Mark back into the land of the living bringing them back to life. To build the avatar of Osiris, I took the black receding hairline from the Punisher, the face from Bucky from the Marvel CMF series, the torso goes to Waldorf, the old man, which I think is actually perfect for him, and then I gave him two white stud attachment pieces to go over his hand to show his white magical power. 
And for the Hippo Goddess towel, right, I just took a Hippo toy. I didn't see any Lego customs, and I thought this would just be really funny to add in. What did you think of this Lego Moon Knight showcase? Who is your favorite character? If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to see more great content like this. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have an awesome day.